everyone, Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. So today I um, have this build that it's not actually completely mine because this is a shell challenge. Um, this is a Breed Life's shell challenge. Um, this is her first uh, one and I wanted to do it because I actually enjoy a lot uh, doing shell challenges. <laughs> um, I'm actually doing one myself. So if you want to see that and participate, um, you can watch my latest speed build. Uh, it's not speed build, my latest video. Yeah, I'm going to post the link in the description down below as long. Also with all the information for um, to enter this uh, challenge that I think you can still do it. Uh, Brit's shell challenge. I think you can still uh, participate. But I'm going to post everything in the description down below. And this was uh, kind of an interesting um, uh, challenge because um, she did it on stream on Twitch. So I was there when she built this structure and I actually agreed on this weird shape um, because then I said, yeah, I'm going to participate and this is going to be easy because it's just two squares and stuff. And it's really hard. It was really hard <laughs> to do the floor plan and everything like that because it's a square with a square inside and another square on the second floor. So yeah. It was really difficult actually um also i wanted to do it extra difficult for me because this is a bait game only build so i didn't use any of the stuff packs or game packs or expansion packs just base game and debug um so this is actually available for all of you so any of you who actually want to play with this weird house that i built <laughs> Um, can download it from the gallery and um, you can play with it because it has no packs it's just base game um, so I went with this kind of modern style for this house uh, this is a three bedroom three bathroom house um, and I placed it in Oasis Springs because I actually like um, building modern houses in there and I did something I played a lot with um, custom building I would say custom furniture <laughs> I don't know you saw me here placing those um, small paintings or maybe it was medium sized paintings I don't know from the debug menu to these um, uh, counters so they would look like not like the basic counters that we have in game so this is kind of custom furnishing I don't know but I I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube from people who actually um, do this quite a lot and I took a lot of inspiration from those videos um if I remember I'm gonna put the links to those videos down below as well um, and I also did something that I don't need, that I actually have never done before with this kind of build or with any build before and it's that I downloaded some um, it's not custom paintings um, but it's the ones that don't work as custom content here um, I, I actually don't know how people do that but I found some amazing um, paintings on the gallery and I just downloaded them there you can see me placing some of them and you will see that I place a lot of these um, throughout the video but um, I don't remember the exact names from the people who uploaded them but you will have all the information in the description down below and also in the description from the build I know I placed the names uh, from these creators so I actually I hope this doesn't count as custom content because um, the build will show us base game only it doesn't have any custom content um, at least in the gallery uh, I hope this doesn't um, disqualify me <laughs> in any way um, but I wanted to participate because as I said before I really like um, shell challenges and I had a lot of fun building this I did stuff that I didn't do before and that I think I'm gonna keep on doing it but I don't know if I'm gonna continue using these custom paintings because um, I when I build I actually like to use uh, what we have in game but as this was a base game only um, build um, I think base game paintings and photos and stuff like that are kind of boring and they kind of they don't suit this style that much so uh, I, I decided to do something different and I hope you don't mind and I hope this doesn't make Brit angry <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I wanted to do this and I talked over the living room and I'm talking over the kitchen. So there's nothing much here. It's just base game cabinets. I actually use this uh, color that it's kind of a... I don't know, it's a gray or something like that. And I tried to do something interesting with uh, this um, wall decor here, but I actually um, ended up deleting it because I didn't like how it looked. Um, as this is a modern house, um, I didn't place that much clutter in the kitchen. Uh, I love building modern houses, but I don't clutter them that much because um, I think it doesn't go too well with the style. Modern is more kind of um, really um, clean and neat and you don't have many stuff in there. Um, but still, um, when we get to the kids' bedrooms, because um, as I said before, it's a three bedroom house. So it has um, two kids' rooms. Yeah. Um, when we get there, you will see that there's a lot of clutter and that I did weird stuff in there. <laughs> so here I see, you can see more custom paintings. Um, but uh, I try to um, keep it simple as well. <laughs> um, I, I still wasn't sure how the floor plan was gonna be here. I just divided some stuff and then I started building stuff. But then I, I find out that I didn't have any um, doors to get to the backyard because I have a lot of space in there. Also, one of the rules for this uh, show challenge was the lot had to be a uh, 30 by 20 I think so I had a lot of space in the backyard because this is a square and it's kind of um, difficult to build in a um, 30 by 20 because there's always really it's kind of a long um, lot so I had to find a way to get to the backyard and then I divided the dining room from the stair area I would say and I delete that window in the in that kind of hallway and I place a door in there so people can go to the backyard um, and here is the master bedroom It's the only bedroom that it's in the first floor and they I actually <laughs> had that um, space in there to place like a walk-in closet <laughs> when I was um, furnishing this room I realized that walk-in closets come with um, city living I think I don't remember the exact pack but it's a it's from a different pack so I deleted it and I custom made my own um, walk-in closet or just a closet um, it's not functional but it has these um, clothing racks and uh, shoe racks in there and some stuff in the shelves and then I place a uh, um, wall there and two windows and I tried to make it look like it actually was a closet and you can open the doors and you can take um, anything that you want to wear and stuff like that but it's not functional so I place a dresser here as well and I place it tested everything because um, no I didn't place a dresser what did I uh, a mirror yeah they have a mirror in this room um, I play tested everything because it's kind of a weird shape um, so it's it, it, it wasn't easy to um, furnish this house but this room in particular was kind of a different shape and really weird one so everything is kind of narrow and it was weird but I did it and I play tested everything and everything works and they have an ensuite bathroom here it's kind of simple but you will see me move everything because once I furnished it, I placed all the objects and I said, okay, I wanted this, I want this other stuff in here, but then I didn't like it and I moved everything and I redecorated the bathroom. So you will see me do that in a second. <laughs> um, I don't know how, what, what, I was, what I was thinking when I placed the toilet in there and with the um, toilet paper on, above it. So here you can see me that I'm changing everything, I'm redecorating the bathroom and I'm moving stuff and I make it look, at least in my opinion, with only base game stuff, I made it look more um, comfortable maybe or like relaxing I would say. And this is kind of an interior, um, oh, how would we call it, an interior um, yard or I don't know. But when I placed the roof in, the lighting just disappeared. I don't know why it happened, but I had to place um, lights. And then um, I delete the roof in and I changed it for something different. I just custom made something 
with the fences that we have um, because we didn't have uh, anywhere to get to the top of the build um the balcony i would call it i don't know but there they have a lot of luxuries in here so um i just uh deleted the roofing and i placed a ladder so the only way to get to the top part of the balcony area i don't know to that part that i'm actually um putting the half walls in <laughs> the only way to get there is through a ladder that it's in the in that open area in there um i didn't show you the uh floor plan on the second floor i think because uh, it, it was kind of a struggle but you see that every room have their has their own um ensuite bathroom one of the bathrooms is bigger than the other also one room seems to be bigger than the other but it I decided to make it for two kids so I don't know if they're twins or if they're just one of them is kind of older than the other but it's for kids I wanted to furnish it and decorate it for kids so I was thinking of a boy and a girl but of course you can do whatever you want to do with this and this is colors are not um, the ones that determine if whether a room is for a boy or a girl but I try to keep it simple and um, with basic colors um, just some blues and oranges I think in, in one room is just blue and orange and wood tones and the other one is uh, light wood tones and I think um, light blue or something like that so um, it's kind of really uh, neutral in my opinion and this is one of the bedrooms this is the orange and blue one so this i was thinking that maybe it was for a boy and this boy was kind of older than his little sister but both of them are kids so you will see that i do something weird in here but not as weird as the thing that i do in the other bedroom <laughs> um this boy has a toy box a dresser or that that closet i think um and toys all around and the desk with um some clutter but nothing's really special um i didn't want to place a, a more toys or anything like that because i couldn't i couldn't have the room for them i didn't find the room so he just has just genetic stuff in here and some clutter uh, but you can use all the toys from the other room because the other room has a lot more toys than this one so i would say that this uh, kid is into music and sports maybe but more of a sports um music would be basically because of the cover of their of the bed but i just couldn't change that so i had to stick with that but it wasn't the what actually i was um thinking that this kid would be into um if you can hear like hammering noise or something like that is because as i said in a few videos uh, ago i'm not at home so it's kind of difficult and weird for me to record my voiceovers so sorry if you can hear noises in the back um this is the only the other bedroom this one i thought it was for a girl and i struggled a lot with this bedroom it was horrible for me to do it because i wanted to I, I had this thing in mind that I really wanted to do, but it, I just couldn't make it work the way I wanted. So um, I custom made this kind of shelving unit, but it's not like that. It has um, the bed and this um, night table. And then I just use the tool mode that I don't use that often, but you will see me here doing it. I use the tool mode to rotate these shelves and make it look like, um, it's covering uh, that part of the whatever I did because I, I don't know if I have a name for that. Is, is there a name for what I'm doing? <laughs> because I actually don't know. So if you do know what the hell I'm doing, please let me know <laughs> because I don't know the name. I just wanted to do this because um, I saw it in a video and I thought it was fun and it was something different and I'm gonna link all those videos <laughs> in the description down below for you to do the same if you want. But here I'm placing these um, shelves here. Uh, I changed the color to the blue ones, yeah. And I placed some toys and you won't see me placing the toys because it was so horrible to do it. 
I actually regretted every time that I was um, decorating this room. So I decided not to show you how much I struggled and how much I tried to quit this build because of that specific part of the build. Um, so you see all the toys in there. Um, but I place, uh, I don't know if it's a dresser or the same uh, closet that the other kid has. I think it's a dresser, yeah, that dresser in there. I think basic game have a lot of nice stuff, actually. It has a lot of nice stuff and you just have to know how to use them because it's a really versatile um, pack, if, if we can call it a pack. <laughs> um, it has a lot of nice stuff. I actually enjoy building with base game and that's why I wanted to do this build with base game only because it's not a requirement. Um, Brit only said that you could use all uh, expansion packs and game packs, but only uh, Tiny Living, Luxury Party, and uh, Laundry Day that were all the stuff packs she had. So, as I didn't want to um, be focusing on whether I was using, I don't know, um, my first pet stuff or vintage plumber or any pack like that, I just said, okay, let's do it a base game stuff. <laughs> and that's what I did and I think it's even um, harder than it already is because um, mm, I'm not I mean I, I love building with base game stuff only uh, impact restricted stuff um, but um, it's still difficult to find the stuff and the objects and whatever you want to do because you say okay I want to do this but then you see that it's not a base game stuff what you want to use and it's like okay let's replace it with something that's actually base game and yeah you start to struggle <laughs> but um here i'm changing some of the colors and this is not the color scheme that we get at the end um you won't see me changing it again um but i change it off cam and for the first time in my life i'm using that um hot top that we got to the for the 20th anniversary of the game uh, I never thought in my life that I was going to use a hot top and I never thought in my life that I was going to use that specific hot top but I thought it looks nice so and it's the only hot top that we have in base game so I used it and I actually played a lot with the color swatches because I actually never studied in a way <laughs> that um, hot top and I thought it was nice. Um, so I, I just I was just checking everything and played a lot with that. Um, and here you saw me changing that uh, window that I said before for this uh, door so we can have a backyard area. And I did something that I haven't done before and that I really wanted to do and this is a tree house for the kids. So this is not like the tree house that I built a few weeks ago in Salvatore. This is a um, fully functional tree house for your kids to play in. Um, I don't know how common it is for you guys to have tree houses where you live, at least in my country and in my city it's not so common because not many people have trees in their backyards. Um, so uh, I've actually never been to a tree house. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen one in my life, just on the TV and some games. but. I thought it would be nice because I really wanted to do something like this for kids and I didn't find, I never found the, the space to do it or the specific area or style. So I just went with this um, because I still had to cover a lot of uh, the backyard area and I place a lot of toys in here so the toys that the kids don't have in their rooms they have them in here and of course this is for them to invite their friends over and to play and have like these meetings that you see on TV and I don't know. <laughs> I play some clutter, it's not a big one and you have a tree in the middle and I had to pay attention to that because I forgot that actually there was a tree in there That's because I didn't um, place anything that to remind me that I had a tree in there. So I placed, um, in a moment I will be placing this uh, um, drawing table. It's I don't know if that's the name but that table in which kids draw and then I realized that it was clipping with the tree the chair was clipping with the tree so um, I had to delete it and but they still have a lot of toys and I actually thought that um, maybe if you have a tree house you won't be um, drawing and coloring in there so I thought it wasn't a problem and I just placed some clutter in this shelf because I didn't I needed more stuff here I thought 
it's for kids and kids have a lot of stuff and there wasn't any storage space i would say just the uh, toy box and that uh, bookshelf in there and that was it so I placed a shelf in there and some decorations here and there in the walls and then I deleted because I saw that it was clipping with the tree and those um, kind of planter things in there they're from uh, the debug menu I don't know um, the specific um, function of them but I just placed uh, one like three of them um, on top of each other and then I just placed some plants uh, because I wanted to do something different as I said before and this is um, kind of the best um, build I could start um, using stuff that I never use so I placed kind of a, um, this table with chairs and I think a grill somewhere or maybe I didn't place a grill I don't I don't know because we have the grill on the balcony area so that's about it and that's Actually, that's it for the build, so remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this speed build. And also follow me on social media, the links are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots, goodbye! Good love.